My name is Kevin. I'm with Bohemia Interactive Simulations, and today we're going to talk about using BBS4 to build a squad level training exercise. Uh, I'm currently in sunny Hohenfels right now, and we're going to use this as our backdrop to facilitate learning uh, in the virtual environment using BBS4. Uh, first thing I do for a squad level training exercise is I need to have my squad. Uh, I'm going to switch to the unit menu by pressing F1 or clicking on it, and then clicking where I want to start my squad. Uh, in this case, uh, it pops up a menu. I'm going to search for, actually it's already selected, so I'm just going to switch to select a rifleman. So in this menu, I can determine what rank he is, what his skills, what his name is, so on and so forth. Uh, and once I've got him selected, I'm going to just copy and paste them a bunch. Once I've got my standard squad size, I can select them all, right click, and then group selected. Now this allows them to shoot, move, and communicate more effectively. Uh, once I've got my squad set up, it's important to note that we have a lot of different tools in the context menu to configure this squad. So if I right click on one of the entities, I can press customize starting loadout, and this allows me to tweak the individual's loadout so he gets specific type of magazines or a different type of night vision device or a different handheld object objects. Uh, once I'm happy with that, I can now start placing my threats. So using the editor camera, which I uh, discussed in another video, I can position the camera to place threats, objects, or other different distractors to ensure that training uh, is, is facilitated. I'm going to now select objects, and I'm going to place some objects in the uh, simulated world to ensure my trainees are, are getting what is relevant for the uh, exercise of time. So uh, I've got objects selected. I'm going to double click, and I can search up here for different things. So let's put some paper targets here just by searching for target. Uh, targets pop up, and then I can put down one of these guys, copy and paste him, put down a couple of other objects as well. Let's put one of these guys. And once I'm happy with that, let's put down some uh, additional IED making components. So again, I'm in objects mode. I'm going to search for IED. Uh, here's a whole different system or whole different submenu with a bunch of different tools in here. So I'm just going to put down a small parcel with fuse, and you can see that I can move it in the game world to ensure that my students are checking their corners uh, if, if desired. Once I'm happy with that, I can switch to units and let's put some actual uh, threats in. So I'm going to double click and this time I'm going to search for Op4. I'm going to choose one of these guys. Uh, but in this case, maybe I want to ensure my trainees know the difference between a shoot and no shoot threat. So what I can do is I can use the tool menu on the left to set it up so this specific entity will surrender at certain points in time. So I'm going to switch to 2D just to make it a little easier. And when I double click, this determines what the parameters of this surrender module will be. So in this case, uh, when a player is 20 meters from this entity, uh, he will surrender. I can also set up custom conditions. So, you know, if he's low on ammo or if, you know, there's a, a translator entity, something like that nearby, I have full configuration capability of it. But for right now, let's just keep it. If there's anyone within 20 meters of him, he's going to surrender. And then I just, uh, once I place the object, I hold down shift and click on that entity. And now this entity is attached to these parameters. Uh, now that we're good with that, let's uh, jump through the preview phase and make sure that everything works as expected. I can press the preview button or press the H key to get it. And now I'm in scenario. This is the training mode. This is what the training would see. Uh, I can shoot, move, and communicate. I've just switched to third person mode by pressing numpad enter. Uh, and I can control my avatar by pressing W, S, and D. I can press Z to go prone, X to crouch, uh, Q and E to lean. I will open up the inventory. Uh, G will open up the compass, so on and so forth. It's important to note that all these commands can be configured by pressing escape, going to the settings menu, and changing the controls here. Uh, if I select a filter by infantry controls, it narrows it down to just controls that are relevant to infantry, such as crouch, uh, go prone, so on and so forth. I'm not going to save any of my changes, and I'm going to go back to the simulation. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to just open the editor up real quick. I've talked about how to use the editor in previous videos, and I'm just going to drag myself to the uh, threat. And we should be able to see him once I get close to uh, see him surrender. So there he is right there. Here's my friendly. I'm going to switch back to first person mode, and I'm going to turn this corner and we should see him surrender. So there he goes, he just dropped his weapon, his hands are up, and he is demonstrating that he does not wish to fight me. Again, this is all configurable. Um, we can also interact with different vehicles and objects. In this case, I've opened a door. Um, but again, this is just a very high level overview of how to use VBS4 to facilitate training uh, from a squad level perspective. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at Bohemia. Thank you.